My name is Nancy and I came from Egypt. I live in Cairo. I was born with a birth defect. I had a bigger foot than the other and I started to wear different sizes of shoes. So with time, my right foot developed a bunion and it has been increasing with time. And I started with one size difference and I ended up with three sizes difference between the two feet. So it was always a painful experience to get the shoe, to find the right shoe, and I was never able to get out of my tennis shoe or shoes. It, it wasn't comfortable at all, and it was really painful all of the time. I was, I was never able to like dress like a girl. It's not easy. In our third, third world, they would consider this a cosmetic surgery. We don't have this speciality back there. I have been saving for five years to be able to come and do this surgery. I, I, I don't think it's expensive at all. I think it's very reasonable and it, it worth it, in simple words. Sometimes it's not easy to take the decision to travel half of the world and put on your life savings. For me, it was my life savings. <laughs> you know, put lots of money and put your feet into the risk of a surgery, you would want to know what to expect. Two years ago, I started to like search seriously and take steps towards doing something. I wrote to people in India, in Costa Rica, in the UK, a couple of um, centers in New York. Most of the time, I didn't like the answers I got, like, uh, well, we need you to be here so we can decide if we can do something or not. Or, okay, we can do something about the bunion, but not the hammer toe. Or, well, we need some more x-rays and we need to put you through these machines to see the bones and everything. So I, I didn't like any of it, you know. Um, I wouldn't go all the way just to find out if it can be done or not. I needed to hear, yes, I can do it first. I came to find Dr. Moy's website and it was the best site I have ever seen because, you know, I got to meet the doctor before I actually meet him. So I sent them um, a couple of photos and then I got a reply from uh, Penny. She said, well, yeah, Dr. Moy can do it for you. And that was it, you know. She didn't say, okay, we need more anything, investigations, we need you to be here to tell you if we can do it or not. No, she said, Dr. Moore can fix this for you. And it was, well, this is a very good start, actually. This is exactly what I needed to know, that somebody knows what to do, and he knows that he can do it. After everything happened and 9-11 events and everything, it was not easy at all to get the visa. I needed to secure some amount to, to prove to the embassy that I can make the trip and I have just enough funds to like go stay there and come back. I booked everything online, the hotel, the flights. Everything was just as easy as I have never expected it to be. I arrived on the same day of my appointment. I came right to the center. I had my first uh, consultation and two days later I was in the surgery room having my surgery done. I woke up from the anesthesia and um, I had to put on my clothes. I was able to stand, walk to the change room, put on everything on and get out. And it was like I had a surgery. It, it's a bone surgery and I am able to walk. That was like a miracle. You know, in the old days, you used to see them lying on beds. Their feet are like elevated and it's hanged and they cannot just sneeze, you know. And I was able to walk, walk around on the, on the very first hour after the surgery. So it was amazing. Let me tell you something. Some, sometimes, sometimes when you read about something on the website on, or on a magazine or watch a commercial on TV, you still have this little bit of doubt. You, you can't imagine that it's so good to be true. It's, it's 
would, would I really be able to walk right after the surgery? And after I was uh, awake and I put my feet on the floor and I was able to walk and I said, it was true. Every word on the website and everything I read about was really true. It's true. And I knew then that, well, I'm not going to have any pain after the surgery because it said so. And I had this little dot, you know, I have stitches, I have bones removed, I have, you know, it's, it's something big, something major. It should hurt. And after I was able to walk, I thought, this will never hurt. <laughs> and it didn't. 